Good afternoon. It's time. Outside it's snowing cats and dogs. In some spots. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, look who's joining us. Sarah. See you soon. <laughs> oh, it is Thursday afternoon. It's February 27th. Two more days to go in February because it's leap year. Just so you don't forget, Saturday's the 29th. Um, and it is cold outside. It's windy outside. And it has been snowy at times outside today as well. Not all day, but... We've had some snow globe action at times. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Skip. Good Brother Earl singing the whiteboard weather theme song in the background. It is whiteboard weather for a Thursday afternoon, a wintry day to be sure. And some of you are commenting that you're seeing flakes flying outside your window. Uh, that's certainly the case in a number of places this afternoon. And if you're not at the moment, chances are you probably will at least once or twice more before the afternoon is through. As I'm looking at radar right now, there are sort of pockets of snow showers moving through, so it's likely that you'll see some occasional brief bursts of snow, you know, something on the order of 10 or 15 minutes, and then it passes. Uh, so passing snow showers would be a, a good term to use over the course of the afternoon. Now combine that with wind whipping around. It's probably going to look pretty ugly for that 10 or 15 minutes, but again, it will pass relatively quickly. Um, and we'll talk more about that and the forecast moving forward, heading into the end of February and the early part of March. A couple of headlines today. Not only are the temperatures down, stock market's down again. Uh, the Penguins' play, at least in terms of winning games, is down. Four in a row they've lost. And the wins are not down. They're actually up this afternoon. So that's something that is up this afternoon. It's Thursday, and that means we give some love and some props to our Thursday afternoon sponsor. That would be East Street Distributing Company, a.k.a. East Street Beer. They're on the north side, just a couple blocks down from Allegheny General Hospital, where they've been for over 65 years, right there on the north side. Found, and this is why East Street Beer and I get along so well. They've been founded on the principles of hard work, integrity, and respect. I like that about them. Uh, they've been there again a long time, and they have a lot of beer. If they don't have it at East Street Beer, then they probably don't have it anywhere else, not only here, but in a lot of other locations. They have the favorites, classics, crafts, and seasonal beer selection. Over 350, you heard me, 350 brands of beer at East Street Distributing Company, a.k.a. East Street Beer, right there on the north side. You can find them online at eaststreetbeer.com, or you can check out their Facebook page. There is a link attached to this particular post takes you right to their Facebook page where you can like their page, you can follow their page. They have current sale prices and once in a while they give away some prizes as well at East Street Beer, eaststreetbeer.com. Thanks to East Street Beer. Now, before we get into all of the weather information and we have a lot of ground to cover and we do it without the hype. It's just simply accurate. Now, you know, if you subscribe to, say, over-the-air weather information somewhere else, you probably wouldn't have left the house for the last three days because it, it was, uh, at least according to the coverage, it was expected to be the end of the world. And at the end of the day, most of us probably got an inch or less of snow. A manageable amount? Yeah. A wintry day, yeah, but not the end of the world as we know it. That's the song. Isn't that the song? It's the end of the world. That's R.E.M. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I digress. Let us get to weather information, shall we? 
Uh, let's start with uh, an out the door sort of reading. This is just a general reading if you're headed out the door anytime soon. Temperatures are running in the mid 20s. You factor in that wind, which has been gusting at times to 20, 25, even 30 miles an hour. Uh, wind chill value is about 14. So mid teens for wind chill values, mid 20s. For temperatures. Here's the way it looks on the radar. As I told you, uh, scattered snow showers moving through the area right now, passing through pretty quickly. Again, uh, a lot of the stuff is moving fast enough that any given spot is probably not going to see a burst of snow for longer than 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, during that time frame, though, you're going to get a, a decent burst given the fact that not only snow, but it'll be combined with the gusty winds. So it's going to look pretty ugly for 10 or 15 minutes, and then it will move on. And it's possible we may even see the skies try and brighten up briefly. But you can see overall just scattered activity, not everyone seeing snow showers right now. You can see Bethel Park. It's quiet. Meantime, on up toward Plum and Penn Hills, it is not. So that's the nature of what we're seeing outside this afternoon. Everything moving from west to east. Here's a look at temperatures here on the homestead. Back there, you see it's 28 degrees right outside my front door. Uh, pick out your f location near your front door and you can get a, uh, an idea of how it feels. Newcastle, 25. Beaver Falls, 26. 25 at the airport, 27 in Washington and 25 in La Trobe. And you can see again those winds, man. Uh, moving along at about 15 to 20 miles an hour with higher gusts and again wind chill values in the mid teens. All right, let's take a look at the surface map and I will show you how things are going to play out. Now, the storm system all the way up here, not an issue anymore. We're getting northwesterly flow combined with some weak energy in the atmosphere that is stirring up at least a scattering of snow. I think the overall coverage is going to diminish and decrease as we head through this evening and overnight tonight as the winds begin to diminish at least somewhat. It's still going to be brisk, but I don't think the winds are going to be as vigorous as they have been thus far this afternoon. Also of note, take a look at this little area of low pressure back here south of Chicago. Tomorrow, let's move ahead to Friday morning. Tomorrow, that is going to scoop or scoot by just to the south. Uh, and as a result, I think maybe northern West Virginia could see a period of some light snow showers uh, and maybe a minor accumulation down around Morgantown. Uh, but elsewhere, I think it's just mainly some spotty flurries through the day tomorrow. And you can see the isobars thin out. They become a little uh, not as tightly packed. As a result, again, it's going to be brisk tomorrow, but the winds won't be as strong. And I'm going to move ahead into Saturday because there's not much change Friday afternoon. Saturday morning, look here. Here's a ridge back here in the Midwest. That starts building in, so I think clouds Saturday morning are going to give way to this Saturday afternoon. That ridge that was back here in the morning, overhead in the afternoon. So skies are going to brighten up. It looks like Saturday afternoon, and temperatures will start warming up the second half of the weekend and into early next week, which is the first week of March. And that leads me right into this. What a segue, baby. Uh, this is the long-range outlook. The date down there says March 3rd through 7th. You can see above average temperatures in our neck of the woods, 60% chance. So while it is cold and wintry out today, it ain't going to be that way for very long. Early next week, temperatures are going to be climbing once again. Unfortunately, in addition to being warm, it's not going to be dry you can see above average precipitation in our area as well. So it'll be mild, but it will be wet the early to middle part of next week. So um, that's par for the course. Um, right on cue, as I mentioned, when I started this broadcast about eight minutes ago, uh, there was snow flying. Now the sun is trying to pop out. What did I say, 10, 15 minutes at most? It was eight minutes, at least here. Uh, all right, um, let's get to some birthdays quickly for today. Liz Taylor celebrated her birthday on this day, and Josh Groban celebrates his birthday on this day. It's National Chili Day today. Uh, it's National Toast Day today. Toast? Chili on toast? Is that a thing? Could be a thing, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Kahlua 
have a little bit in your coffee. Uh, strawberry day today, as well as polar bear day today. And I think we're all a little polar berry today, at least with it being outside. We're dressed up like polar bears for sure when you head outside uh, this afternoon. Let's get over to the whiteboard. It is Thursday afternoon, brought to you by East Street Distributing Company, a.k.a. East Street Beer. There's the website, eaststreetbeer.com. Visit them on the north side, just a stone's throw down from Allegheny General Hospital. When you go in, tell them Whiteboard Weather sent you, and maybe pick up a case of my favorite Corona Light. But if you don't like Corona Light, they have over 350 brands of beer for you to pick from, so there's likely one that you like. Sunset tonight, 6.09 p.m. sunrise tomorrow morning 6:56 a.m. average high and low 43.25 we're not going to get back to average until it looks like sunday brisk wind will continue tonight and into tomorrow not as vigorous as it is today but still 10 to 15 miles an hour gusts of 20 uh, so we'll cut the winds probably in half later tonight and tomorrow Little or no additional accumulation. Again, with these quick bursts of snow, they're going to be in and out in the course of about 10 or 15 minutes. It'll make it look bad. There'll be reduced visibility at times, but we're not going to see much sticking to the ground. And just looking ahead, we're nine days until clocks spring ahead, and we're 21 days until the vern, the vernal equinox, also known as the start of spring, at least on the calendar. Tonight, 19 degrees, brisk and cold, passing snow showers. Again, little or no additional accumulation. Then tomorrow, 32, lots of clouds around, some scattered flurries. As I mentioned when I showed you the maps, south of I-70, there could be a period of some light snow showers, maybe a dusting of snow there. That would be down probably south of Waynesburg toward Morgantown. Then tomorrow night, cloudy. 18 degrees, can't rule out a flurry or two. Saturday is going to be a little bit of a transition day. Clouds early in the day. I think the skies will brighten up for sunshine in the afternoon. 32, so still chilly. And then we start to warm it up. Of the weekend, Sunday, the nicer of the two because it'll be at least partly sunny and it will be warmer. 45 on Sunday. As I mentioned, it continues to warm. Unfortunately, it doesn't stay dry. 50 on Monday with showers returning Monday afternoon and then Tuesday it'll be mild but it will be wet at times with more showers and double nickels that day 55 for the high temperature so that's a look at your Thursday afternoon whiteboard heading into through the weekend the last few days last two days of February and the first three days of March so Sunday being March 1st, 45 with some sunshine, that would say that March is coming in like a lamb. And we all know what the opposite of that is. So we'll see how the month ends. Hopefully, it's not true this year. Keep our fingers crossed. All right, that is going to wrap it up for today. Please share, share whiteboard weather with your Facebook friends, the more, it just doesn't take long. The more you share, the more people can join in and the more we can grow and we want to grow. We want as many people as possible tuning in for the simply accurate, no hype forecast, not, we don't want people subscribing to fear casting. It's not fair to them. Let them come here. Um, anyway, share it. I appreciate it. Uh, and visit Pittsburgh Weather Now dot com whenever possible visit the photo gallery a lot of photos being uploaded on a regular basis so uh, new photos being added all the time i'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning tgif 7 a.m have yourself a great rest of this thursday everyone see you tomorrow peace